Hi, so my name is Allison Fine. I'm a graduate of the class of 2013 of Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, and then obviously I'm in my fourth year. So, um, so I initially uh, met Dr. Winterburn um, because I was working with the Aboriginal Health Advocacy Group, um, and we wanted to have somebody come in and talk about residential school, and her perspective was really interesting because um, she was talking about having um, patients who may have survived residential school and how to kind of deal with them um, empathetically and understand that their experiences might be different for every single person so you can't necessarily generalize. Um, so we had her come in and give a session on that um, and then I worked with her actually in my family medicine clerkship um, at the end of it uh, in Byron and in working with her um, I really liked watching how gentle she was with her patients, if, if that's a way to describe it, but she was always um, empathetic and kind of thought about where they were coming from, um, and even if they were rejecting kind of medical practices, um, she always kind of tried to negotiate with them and approach it from a way that was quite respectful. Um, and this is all her patients. Um, I really only knew her background in terms of um, her work um, previous, I believe it was with Kettle Point. Um, after um, reading about that a little bit in my free time, um, and so uh, I guess that means that she didn't really talk about her accomplishments or what she did. But um, she was a very wonderful family doctor, so I'm very honored to be receiving this award. I'm very, very pleased to be receiving this award because. Um, of my work with Dr. Winterburn. Um, it was very tragic what happened and um, I, as I mentioned I kind of enjoyed working with her in terms of learning from her perspective um, both on First Nations issues and also in terms of how she approached her patients um, and I would like to take that with me um, in my future practice in terms of again, respecting my patients, um, even if they come from a very different place than I do, um, and trying to understand them regardless. Um, in terms of receiving this award, I think um, it, it continues what I've been interested in doing. Um, so I was working with the Aboriginal Health Advocacy Group here um, with Kirsten Jewell. I um, went up to Sioux Lookout between first and second year. Um, the Aboriginal Health Group is continuing to work with um, uh, Kiki, which is um, on Muncie Reserve and doing um, some sexual health work with some of the uh, teenagers there. And so I really um, am thrilled to be getting this award just because it, it reflects what a lot of my interests have been throughout medical school. So. The program I'm going to is the Northern Remote Family Medicine Program in Manitoba um, and that was uh, really influenced um, by the opportunity to work with a lot of First Nations communities up north. Um, so they do um, fly-ins to Nunavut, to Yellowknife, to Northern Manitoba um, and then they also in first year I'm going to be working at a clinic that works with um, usually um, uh, First Nations people from reserves who've come down and are getting treatment in the city. Um, so the reason I really was interested in this program because um, it continues my interest in, in First Nations issues and, and health issues. Um, and it really just seemed like a unique opportunity to actually learn more um, in terms of some of the challenges on reserves but also the challenges in the city um, that you can face when you come from um, sometimes a, a different culture and also um, different resources um, in terms of where you were growing up, that kind of thing. I just would like to thank the friends and faculty who made this award possible um, and I would like to hopefully um, help continue in the memory of Dr. Winterburn. <laughs>